Welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we solved an example with the help of the circumference and area of the circle. Today in this video, we will see what common mistakes can be made while solving these type of questions. Tina is walking on a circular path of 7 meters, which is outside the circular park. If the radius of the park is 18 meters, what will be the area of the path? Which of the following answer is correct? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. Come. Let's discuss option 3. Since it is given that Tina is walking on a 7 meter circular path which is outside the park, so we can say that this circular path and the total radius of the park that is R will be 25 meters which we would have displayed from this circle. So, can you find the area of the path from this? Come, let's see. First, we find the area of the whole circle, which is represented by equation 1. Similarly, find the circle with area of the park, which is represented by equation 2. Since we have to find the area of the path, so subtract from equation 1 the equation 2. which, when solved, gives the area of the path as 946 square meters. So, option 3 is the correct answer. If you have selected option 1, it was a good try. But, it was the wrong answer. Because when you have to find the area of the path, then you consider the width of the path as the radius itself and solve on the basis of it. Because of that, your answer gets wrong. If you have selected option 2, it was a good try. But it was the wrong answer. Because here, you are not finding the area of the path. Rather, the area of the circle by the total radius of the park and the path. Which is why you get the wrong answer. Often children make such mistakes where they are unable to find the radius or diameter of the circle and determine the wrong area. Let's look at another example. Ramesh fences in his circular field. The cost of fencing is 15 rupees per meter, the total expenditure of which is 3960 rupees. If he needs to plough his field, he will have to pay 50 paise per square meter. Then, can you tell how much money he will have to pay for ploughing the entire field? Which of the following answer is correct? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. Come, let's discuss option 1. It is given that the total cost of the fence at the rate of 15 rupees per meter would be 3960 rupees. This means 
that the total length of the fence is 264 meters. So now, can you find the radius of a circular field? Absolutely correct. To find the radius, we will take the help of the formula of circumference of the circle. Which, when solved, gives a value of radius that is 42 meters. Since we have to find the total expenditure in ploughing the field, for which we will need the area of the field, solving the value of R in the formula for the area of the circle, the area of the circle, that is, the area of the field is 5,544 square meters. Because we know that the ploughing of the field is 50 paise per square meter, so to plough the field, Ramesh will have to pay 2,772 rupees. Hence, option 1 is the correct answer. If you have selected option 2, it was a good try. But it was the wrong answer. Because to find the radius of the circle, you use in the formula of circumference D instead of 2R. And assume the value of D as the radius that is the value of R. And let's solve further on the same basis. That makes your answer incorrect. So hopefully you must have understood why the first option is right and the second option is wrong in this example. Teachers can also test students' understanding in class with the help of some such examples.